what's up you guys Stella's Knife Obsession and I got a, an unboxing for you so this one is something I'm redoing um, it's an anodization job that I guess um, it just wasn't what the person expected so she sent it back to me and I'm gonna redo it but I'll show you guys the work I've already done on it she just wanted it to be more shimmery and shiny, and so I'm going to do that for her. Um, I will always try and make good if something doesn't turn out the way you want it, or whatever the case may be. Um, I'll always make good on it, so, you know. But it's a $3.95, which is a freaking amazing knife. I love it. Um... And um, this is how it turned out first. Um, I like it, but, you know, I just want to make sure that I'm doing what the uh, person wants me to do. So I'm going to make it more shimmery, more shiny, uh, bling bling, if you will. God dang, it's so nice. Ooh, I like this knife. Wow. It's beautiful. So I'm going to fix that and make the person happy hopefully <laughs> we'll find out oops actually we'll just keep that in there for now i touched it without gloves because i'm going to be redoing it so and then we have this which if it's what i think it is i'm super excited uh yeah so very excited yes i think it is oh my god Ugh, here we go Yeah, baby. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, baby. Hold on a second. I need a rag. All right. So it's the Tepe Design TS210 Crown Spine. Well, it's chamfered. Not, not completely crowned, but rounded off a little. Beautiful grind. It's a hollow grind. Oh, my God. God, you got this little tonto going on, but no uh, compound grind or anything. Oh my God, is this nice. Oh, wow. This is a big knife, too. Let's, oh my God. Oh yeah, I'm going to take this apart. You know what? I'll do it right now. Hold on. All right, let's do this. Let me see what's going on on the inside here. It's grinding a little bit, and a lot of times, uh, Tucson just, uh, it's a little dirty on the inside now and then. That's all. Not a too, not too big of a deal. Not a huge deal, you know. It's not a deal breaker for me. If it was, I wouldn't be ordering anything. I've been waiting forever. I think I ordered this before Christmas. Um, it's just, you know, the mail just runs when it feels like it around here, so. Yeah, no. And, you know, having two holidays back-to-back -back doesn't really help the situation, you know. It's always going to slow stuff down. So, I love that they used multi-purpose right here. They used the um, pocket clip screw hardware for the additional, uh, you know, uh, you know, holding it together. <laughs> um, can't quite uh, articulate what I'm trying to say here, but... Yeah, so look at that. I, that is a perfect looking, deep, almost deep carry pocket clip. I'll have to test that out in a little bit. I'll show you guys how, how it works out. Or I'll tell you, or whatever. So, let's see. Let's see here. A little bit more. Yeah. All right, and look, I love the fact that they're aware that, you know, they put hardware inside the titanium so it doesn't wear down, you know? So, very cool. I'm going to wipe this off a little bit. Got a little oil there. Sweet pickles. I love you, sweet pickles. Tell me if any of you remember sweet pickles when you were a kid if you're my in my age group 
Ooh, multi row bearings. Holy crap. Wow. I'm impressed. Wow. Nice. Set that there. I'm going to wipe this stuff off because I like KPL much better. That's my go to oil. I mean, that's a lot of people's go to oil. <laughs> ain't it? It sure ain't. All right, we got racetracks. Oh, no, these are just additional washers. Very cool. All right, all right. Another multi row bearing. Hopefully, I have zero issues putting this baby back together. I shouldn't. You know, that's another thing I love about, the, uh, you know, about um, Tucson is the fact that they uh, make it incredibly easy for you to maintain your own knives, you know. So, uh, one more thing I'll mention here about this design. So, it's, this is a great design. It's awesome. I love Tepe designs. I will be tattooing his uh, logo on my body. <laughs> That's how much I love Tepe. Um, however, when Tucson does this thing, I don't know if that's so fair. You know, like, the, I don't know if the designer wanted that there or what, but they are removable. You can, you know, take them out. But um, it's weird that they put, I mean, I don't care. I don't think it looks bad. I just, I don't, I just think it's weird that they put, you know, made in, uh, it is Ying Jang China or something like that. Um, it's just weird, you know, I don't care that it's made in China. Obviously I have a ton of them. So, um, you know, I love me some, uh, uh, Tucson. So, um, always, I'm almost always very happy with it their knives. I mean, I've ra rarely, out of all of the knives that I've purchased from them, I have rarely gotten anything that made me upset, you know, or that, you know, that just wasn't up to par, I guess you could say. Let's get this out of there. I have this little plastic instrument that I use to get things out because I don't like scratching things up. But that's okay. It shouldn't be too bad. Right, right, right on. So another washer. Basically, those are racetracks, you could say. Alrighty. I know some of you may not be interested in the disassembly, but I really appreciate if you stick around. Um, because I am going to show um, my newest... Um, <laughs> there we go. Uh, my newest anodization project uh, that I have completed. So stick around and I will show it to you if you want to see it. Well, regardless, I'm still going to show it to you. So get all that stuff out of there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Kitty, no, please. No. Too many small parts, sweetheart. Sweetie heart, sweet and heart, and hey, stop. No. Mm -hmm. All right. I was gonna use some alcohol on it, but it's not a big deal. Uh. Excuse me. If you're drinking, you have to take a shot every time I burp. Uh. Yeah. Excuse me. And then let me know down below that you took a shot or two. Take one for me. <laughs> Whoa. Let's <laughs> see. This one came out with it. And I'm going to take that off real quick. I, um, those are actually titanium, I believe. Let me just double check here. Um, with this. This here magnet. Yeah. Titanium. So. Uh, the pivot is steel, though. There we go. Darling. 
All right, we'll keep this on. All right, now I want to put it back on. As you can see, it's got a D-shaped pivot to stop it from free, freely spinning when you go to, when you go to, you know, disassemble it. Let's just get that little bit of oil out of there. All righty. Beautiful, beautiful. Their stuff usually, it just, it's usually so well done. I mean, the fit and finish that they usually achieve is just, uh, maybe not so much the fit. A lot of times you'll find that it's a little dirty. Um, but it's, uh, I can, I can, you know, I mean, the, the price of this stuff is, it's so great that a little bit of dirt that you can clean out just fine. I mean, easily, you can easily take care of the dirt yourself. Um, I don't see anything that would make that a deal breaker. Not for me anyway. It wouldn't, you know, um, oops, I gotta put this, um, put this in here like this. Like that. I did it like this. I did it like that. I did it with a wiffle ball bat. Alrighty. Now the blade. And sometimes this is a little tricky. Because of the button. Button being right there. Let's see here. A little dabble do ya. Alrighty. Get in there. Get in there. There we go. Uh huh. Get that oil spread out. Spread out. Just a little bit. I'll do the job. Okay. Stop singing stuff. I do that all the time. It's weird. It's weird, you guys. It's freaking weird. Oops. Okay. Let's see here. Try. Get that button on there perfectly. Hopefully, I get it. Yeah, it seems like it. Oh, where's the pivot? Oops, uh, usually need a little Loctite. Um, that's one thing that um, Tucson knives the pivots will back out a lot because they don't put. They don't put any Loctite on them, so, you know, leaving it up to us, I think, is the best way to go. Just because, I mean, no, kitty, no. No. This bottle's almost empty. There. That's better. Better. Put that in there. And I always turn to the left, let it connect, and then turn turn it to the right to tighten it. So I find that's the best way to reassemble your knife, in my opinion. Um, well, the best way to reinsert the screws. There we go. We're going to get them all in first, and then we will go around and check everything make sure it's tight and centered yes darling that's what we'll do i am so freaking happy about this it, it honestly you guys saw it, it wasn't that dirty at all it just felt like there was a little bit of grindage going on there oh am i in the hole am i in there i don't know i don't feel like i am Feels like I'm just twisting it for no reason. <laughs> Man, this thing is pretty big. I didn't I didn't realize it was gonna be this big. Doesn't bother me. I just wanted to mention it really. Come on, get in there. So the screw doesn't want to go to its home. Don't you wanna go to your home? Come on. Do your do your job. You have one job. Let's see, let me clean that out just a little bit more. We will do it like this. A little bit of alcohol. So the oil isn't keeping it from screwing in. 
Ooh, God, that blade grind is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Maybe, just maybe, I'll put a dab on the end of this. Just a dab. There we go. Hopefully it'll go in now. I really hope so. Car alarm. Get the bad guy. Let's see here. Ugh. It's not catching that darn thing. Come on now. Get in there. Get in there. I think I got it. Maybe I just have to fucking screw this. Oops, I didn't mean to say that. Screw this in a little bit better. There we go. Maybe it'll catch now. Well, after I screw this in a little bit. Yeah, it should catch now. Sweet. What the hell? What is going on here? Come on. Cheese and rice. Oh my god. You guys, I'm struggling! Get your butt in there, darn it. What the hell is going on, dude? <laughs> All right, hold on. I'm not going to make you guys sit through this. Duh, Stella. <laughs> All right. So I had these in the wrong uh, holes. I didn't even realize that this one is, this tube is a little bit longer than this one, which is why it was not screwing in. <laughs> so an easy fix. All I did was have a brain fart. Let's see. Well, actually, I just didn't realize. All right, get through there, backspacer. So, let's see if we can move it out a little bit. Try to get that bad boy in there. Shit. Let's do this. There we go. There we go. Screw it back in. There we go. Awesome. Easy fix, man. I love it. See, Tucson really set the bar for premium knife uh, knives. They, uh, they, they set the bar so high, uh, and the prices are so reasonable. Even now that everything has gone up, it's crazy. We uh, bought eggs the other day for $8. $8 for eggs. That's freaking crazy, dude. Uh, milk uh, is pretty high up there as well. It's crazy. Like, are you serious right now? Why? <laughs> they need to adjust our hourly wages if that's the type of stuff they're doing. Um, uh, and I do notice, I will say this, a lot of companies are starting at like... 15 bucks an hour um, out here in Utah so that's always good I mean good especially for people that don't have a college education much like myself I don't have a college education so um, it's nice to have experience though Ooh, that sound was cool oh man oops let's see just a little loosen. Oh. Ooh, that's a sweet sound. Let's see. Ooh, it's a little sticky. Hmm. Button's a little sticky there. But that, I think it will work in. Ooh, love that Tepe Choil, man. He he knows how to do a choil when you want to choke up. He knows what's up with that. I love this thing. The freaking ergos are fantastic. 
Oh, that's perfectly centered. Oh, maybe a little favoring the right, the show side, I guess. Let's see here. Uh, let's see if I can get it perfect. Let's, uh, well, I don't know, maybe it's just not going to be perfect. Oh, man, that's nice. No blade play. No pivot lash. No uh, detent lash or anything like that. This one does not have a ceramic ball as detent. It locks up with the button lock back here. As you can see, see that? Just the, there's a little lever in the other scale that locks it open like so and then locks it closed like so so and nice and healthy uh, stop pin I mean it's a little thin but it's good enough I think um, man this is nice the button is wearing in already whoa Ooh, the sounds are freaking crazy. Amazing. Uh, still favoring the show side scale, but that's okay. Not too bad. Oh my goodness, this thing's nice. So I will link this in the description for anybody who might be interested. And um, you can use my discount code, Stella's Obsession, all caps, no gaps. And uh, it's at White Mountain Knives. Uh, this is the... Tepe Design TS-210 made <clears throat> by uh, Tucson. Awesome knife. Look at that beautiful grind. I love when you can see the grind lines. I love a good hollow grind. It's beautiful. I love the spine. I love how they did that. And this jimping is very nice and soft yet still grippy very very nice choke back here it's a really nice grip as well you can get a very good grip on that this little finger spot look at that perfectly placed yeah this is nice let's grab a piece of paper shall we <sighs> all right of course nothing Oof. Baby, that is sharp. Oh man, that's great. This is a beautiful knife. Let's see if we can get a little curl. Wait, not like that, Stella. Yeah, it's nice and sharp. <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> oh, that's so gross all right man this is sweet listen to that sound one more time oh man oh that oh man that's nice the thumb roll is very satisfying very satisfying oh my god Oh, that's a sweet sound. All right, awesome. Well, I guess I'll stop playing with it. <laughs> stop playing with it, Stella. I'm going to get in trouble for playing with it. All right, sweet. Oh, man, I love I love Tucson, man. Their grinds are phenomenal. Their blade sharpening skills are phenomenal. I just love them. And then you got some of the best in the game, man. Tepe, uh, Mazwan Mokhtar. You got... Uh, night morning uh, freaking Jelly Jerry which I have a shit ton of his um, so many amazing designers I'd love to see Tucson and Sharif Mangana's of Man Man Mangana Steel oh yeah I I'd like them to hook up uh, collaboration would be absolutely phenomenal and I know that the execution would be 100% there with Tucson. So it's awesome. All right. Uh, oh, I promised to show you guys this bad boy. 
without the flipper and um, I, I I am gonna post a video of the anodization process but here's how it turned out um, so I did some texturing on the pivot collars just because they're like you know large and plain so um, I thought it looked a little funky when they were just gray or silver um, but Patina Turner suggested that I that I uh, etch and stone wash or acid wash and stone wash this blade. That's a phenomenal idea. I think it would look so good with this knife. The colors. Yeah, I'm gonna be carrying this bad boy pretty soon too. Um, but I think I might take that uh, idea because it was a great idea. And since this is D2. Mm, it should take pretty well. I think D2 takes pretty well. So, man. Oh, man. It's, it seems like the oh the action got better. Probably because I cleaned it out real good. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that. I am going to post the video of that today. I'm just still editing. Um, so, uh, but this thing, wow. Wow, Tucson. Wow, Tepe. Love it. This thing is nice. I I don't see. I don't know that he said he was gonna be putting out an Apex V2 um, button lock. This doesn't look anything like the uh, Apex, so I'm assuming, especially since the number is 210, I'm assuming this was just a previous design that was already in the works um, because they do that. They'll do like like right now they're hitting the 400s numbers you know and um but this was obviously designed a couple of years ago and they just now executed it so um i find that they do that pretty often but it's pretty cool that they have stuff just sitting there you know waiting to be made they've got constant rotation and constantly putting out new designs and i think that's amazing they just pump it out man so um, anyway, we're looking at 27 plus minutes. Uh, I don't know if any of you made it to the end, but I certainly appreciate it if you do. Uh, please subscribe and please hit the bell for notifications. I have uh, channel memberships now and I will be doing uh, personalized videos for uh, members of the channel. So uh, if you're interested, please hit the join button next to my name or my uh my logo SKO hit the join button and pick what which membership you'd like and then you will see um, very soon I will be putting up videos personalized just for members on that note I'll see you soon